2020 should be a year free of the Kapal brothers. No more Kapal's Corner. Let's boycott it. Let's boycott it. Let's, let's make America great again. <laughs> Let's start with Benjamin. What the heck is he wearing? Half the time I don't even get what he's got on. Some fancy monkey business suit. The suits don't match. The coat's different pattern than the pants. Sometimes he, he sneaks it up with some sneakers. Who wears a suit and sneakers? Just seems like a lot of nonsensical ruckus. The, the music's too fast. It's too loud. I, I get I get that they want to be contemporary, but what about country? Isn't that still around? Don't people still enjoy that? I mean, where's my JC at? That's what I that's the type of music I want to hear. <laughs> and on, on top of that, it, it's too darn long. I mean it's like a third of the third of the episode is the theme song. Who does that? Hmm? Hmm? Ghost guests. And that's basically where you make up people in the audience that don't really exist to try to make it seem like your show is more valid. <laughs> like more people actually enjoy it and care and participate and are there. And I mean, it's almost every episode, uh, Benjamin's saying, oh, hey, here, Mary in the audience. Oh, don't you do that, Cedric, oh, Francois. These people aren't real. None of them are there. The only people in the room besides the actual guest is Nick, Ben, and Mitch. So, hmm, that's interesting. Francois, let's present Francois. Show me, show me Francois in the next episode. Or show me Mary. Or show me Abigail. Or show me Johnny. They don't exist because they're ghost guests. So the Kapal twins basically make the show. You got Benjamin, who's sort of the ringleader. He does the interviews. He's the one that's always dressed real dapper. And you got Nicholas, who more recently they have him come on as sort of a pseudo shrink. He asks a bunch of crazy questions, and most of the time they're not really relevant to the show, but hmm. And then you got Mitch. And Mitch is the one that hides behind the camera. He's the quiet, he's the quiet type, you know? He, he'll appear every once in a while, he'll say a little mousy thing here and there, but pretty much just kind of hides behind the camera, does a lot of the editing. But realistically, they're all kind of crazy. They don't really make a lot of sense. They're not particularly funny. And where in the tarnations is love for old Ed? I mean, why can't I be in the show? I know the Kapal boys. I've been around forever. It's like Monroe County just decides to cast me out, and they're going to follow suit. So I'm sorry, America, but if Ed can't get an interview on the show, then to me, it ain't worth a spittle. You shouldn't watch it. Pass on. Move on to something else. Cabal's Corner. You're not subscribed yet? Subscribe. Have you subscribed? You better subscribe. You better really tell all your friends about it because it's the coolest show in the whole world. People love it. I'm sure that there's pets named after it. It's a cool show. Subscribe.